Welcome, dear listeners, to another episode of Sunny's Amazing and Strange Facts. Today we delve into an enigma that has intrigued and mystified humanity since the dawn of civilization, the profound mystery of witchcraft. A concept so ancient, it's woven into the very fabric of human culture across the globe. For some, it's a symbol of fear and misunderstanding. For others, it's a pathway to empowerment and connection with the natural world. Witchcraft, in its many forms, has been a tool for healing, a reason for persecution, a method of rebellion, and a source of magic and wonder. From the mystic shamans of prehistoric times to the modern witches of the 21st century, witchcraft has evolved and transformed, reflecting the changing times and societies. Yet its core essence remains elusive, shrouded in mystery and misconceptions. So, have you ever pondered, what is the true essence of witchcraft? To understand witchcraft, we must voyage back in time to the ancient world. The concept of witchcraft has been woven into the rich tapestry of human history, and its origins are as diverse as the cultures that depicted it. In the sun-drenched lands of ancient Egypt, magic was a fundamental part of their religion. The priests were viewed as magicians, using spells and rituals to communicate with the gods. They crafted protective amulets and potions, and their knowledge of the mystical was revered. Across the Mediterranean, in Greece and Rome, witchcraft took on a more ambiguous role. The ancient Greeks believed in the existence of witches, who they thought could control the forces of nature. They were held in awe and fear, often blamed for natural disasters. In Rome, witches were seen as women with incredible powers, both feared and respected. The infamous Medea, a sorceress in Greek mythology, was a figure of terror and fascination in equal measure. In the misty realms of the Celtic tribes, witchcraft was interwoven with the natural world. The Druids, a revered class of Celtic priests, were believed to hold supernatural powers. They were the guardians of the sacred, the keepers of knowledge and the mediators between the people and the gods. They practiced divination, healing and prophecy, and their magic was deeply rooted in the natural world. Each of these ancient civilizations had their own interpretation of witchcraft, shaping it according to their beliefs and fears. These witches, whether they were Egyptian priests, Greek sorceresses, Roman healers or Celtic druids, were integral parts of their societies. They were the intermediaries between the earthly and the divine, wielding their magic to alter the course of fate. Witchcraft, as you can now perceive, has roots deep in our past. It is a testament to the enduring human fascination with the mystical, an intrigue that has spanned millennia and continues to captivate us today. Now, let us traverse to a darker period in history, the time of the witch trials. The witch trials, a murky chapter in our past, swept across Europe and America from the 15th through the 18th centuries. Sparked by a potent mix of religious fervor, societal anxieties and personal vendettas, these trials were driven by an all-consuming fear of the supernatural. In Europe, Estimates suggest that tens of thousands of people were executed for alleged witchcraft, with the majority being women. This was a time when the church wielded significant power, and any deviation from the accepted norms was perceived as a direct threat. Meanwhile, across the Atlantic, the infamous Salem witch trials in Massachusetts unfolded in the late 17th century. A group of young girls claimed to be possessed by the devil, accusing several local women of witchcraft. The hysteria quickly spread, leading to the execution of 20 people and the imprisonment of many more. What's important to understand is that these trials were not solely about witchcraft. They were a manifestation of deeper societal tensions. In Europe, they were commonly seen during times of hardship such as war, famine or disease outbreaks. In Salem, the trials were a product of a deeply divided community grappling with changing social and economic dynamics. These trials had a profound impact on society. They led to the loss of countless lives and created an atmosphere of terror and suspicion. Moreover, they exposed the dangerous consequences of unchecked mass hysteria and the misuse of authority. The witch trials also forced society to take a hard look at its judicial practices. In the wake of these events, there was a growing demand for evidence-based trials and the right to a fair defence. This paved the way for significant legal reforms in the centuries that followed. The witch trials are a grim reminder of how fear and misunderstanding can lead to tragedy. They serve as a warning from history 
urging us to question, to understand and to empathize, rather than succumbing to fear and prejudice. In today's world, witchcraft has taken on a new guise. The modern face of witchcraft is remarkably different from the stereotypical image of the haggard old witch stirring her cauldron. It's no longer about hexes and curses, but about embracing nature, spirituality and self-empowerment. One of the most notable forms of modern witchcraft is Wicca. Born in the mid-20th century and popularised by figures like Gerald Gardner, Wicca is a nature-based religion that honours both a god and goddess. Wiccans celebrate the cycles of the moon and the seasons of the year, and many practice magic in the form of spells and rituals. However, far from the malevolent magic of folklore, these practices are largely about positive self-transformation and healing. Modern witchcraft also emphasises individualism. There's no one-size-fits-all way to be a witch in today's world. Some witches may choose to follow a structured path like Wicca, while others may forge their own eclectic spiritual path, drawing on a variety of witchcraft traditions and other spiritual practices. In the 21st century, witchcraft has seen a resurgence in interest. This isn't just a matter of novelty or nostalgia. For many, it's a response to an increasingly disconnected and digital world. Witchcraft offers a way to reconnect with nature, to slow down and tune into the rhythms of the earth. It also provides a framework for personal growth and self-discovery, and for some, a way to reclaim power and agency in a world that often feels out of control. Today's witches are doctors, teachers, artists and engineers. They're people from all walks of life who find value and meaning in these ancient practices reimagined for the modern world. They're a testament to the enduring appeal of witchcraft and to its ability to adapt and evolve. Witchcraft continues to evolve, reflecting the times and cultures in which it exists. So why does witchcraft captivate us so? It's a question that has fascinated humanity for centuries. At its core, witchcraft is about a deep connection to the world around us. It's an understanding that everything in nature, from the smallest leaf to the grandest mountain, is imbued with its own spirit, its own energy. This is a sentiment that resonates with many of us, whether we practice witchcraft or not. In a world where we often feel disconnected, the idea of being in tune with the natural world is appealing. It offers a sense of grounding, a sense of belonging. And that's the allure of witchcraft. It's a practice that encourages us to look beyond the surface, to see the magic in the everyday. It reminds us that we are a part of something bigger, something beautiful, but it's not just about nature. Witchcraft is also about personal empowerment. It's about taking control of your own life, your own destiny. It's about harnessing the energy of the universe to affect change, to create the life you want. And who doesn't want to feel that they have some control over their own fate? And let's not forget the mystery. There's something undeniably intriguing about the unknown, about the secrets that witchcraft holds. It's a practice shrouded in mystery in whispers of ancient rituals and spells. It's a world that invites exploration, that beckons us to delve into its depths and uncover its secrets. So, why does witchcraft captivate us so? Perhaps it's the promise of connection, of empowerment, of mystery. Or maybe it's simply the allure of the magical, the enchanting, the extraordinary. After all, in a world often filled with the mundane, who wouldn't be drawn to the possibility of magic? Perhaps it is not the fear of witchcraft that intrigues us, but its inherent magic. As we conclude our mystical journey, one can't help but marvel at the enigma that is witchcraft. From its ancient roots steeped in mystery and fear to the infamous witch trials that painted a grim picture of our past, witchcraft has been a constant, albeit misunderstood, presence in our history. And let's not forget the resurgence of modern witchcraft, a testament to the enduring fascination we hold for the magical and the unknown. Today, witchcraft continues to bewitch us, its allure undiminished, its significance undervalued. The magic of witchcraft, as we've seen, extends beyond spells and potions. It's a reflection of societal norms, a mirror to our fears and desires, a symbol of rebellion against the status quo. As we've journeyed through the ages, it's clear that witchcraft's influence is far-reaching and profound. Do subscribe, like and comment with your thoughts and don't forget to share this with your friends next time we shall delve into the world of mythical creatures. Until then, keep wondering, keep exploring. Goodbye, dear listeners.